So I've popped a wind jammer on to see if that will make a difference today. I'm going to go out and give it a quick test with Si. I'm not hopeful to be honest because it doesn't look any wider than the pads in my helmet. Um, but people swear by them so let's give it a go. Ride for life. I'm going to say hello to my vloggers, hang on a minute, to my three fans. Oh, it's four today. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to test the wind jammer out today. Let's see how that goes, eh? Boom. Well, hello, you. How are you doing today? So after the vlog I... I keep saying vlog don't I? It's vlog isn't it? It's because I say video vlog. It's a vlog, vlog. I don't know. Um, after my incredibly windy affair yesterday, it is just as windy today. Um, but today I've got a wind jammer on. And I've got to be honest, when I put it on it didn't look... You know, the, the whole way you put your neck in, it was about the same as my um, cheek pads and everything so I actually can't see how it's going to work it might might help a bit in the back of the helmet but I can't see how it's going to work but um, I thought I'd try it today so I'm out with I'm out with moist decoy today only for a few hours just going to have a bimble about and uh, I'm going to try this wind jammer now to be fair it is, you know, 40, 45 mile an hour gusts today, and it is screamingly windy, as you can probably tell. But, what I will say is, yesterday when I got home, I had the biggest headache. The, the wind was so bad in the helmet, um, it, it drove me batty. And, even though it's, I can still hear the wind um, bang, bouncing around the helmet, it's nowhere near what it was yesterday. So uh, let's give this a go. Obviously this, this test will tell me whether it's any good or not. But I think even if it's only just a bit better, then a bit better is better than nothing to what I had yesterday. But yeah, so we're just gonna have a quick buzz down to the food stop for a cup of tea and a chat. And uh, that'll be about it for today, I think. Let's see who's up there. But anyway, you are very welcome along for the ride. Um, thank you very much for all your comments on the videos. I love responding to them and I love reading them. And I've got some downtime. Really cheers me up. Um, if you're currently a sub, then fantastic. Um, well done. <laughs> if you're not a sub, uh, please consider subscribing. Um, it would help me out a great deal. Uh, and if you can't sub, because you haven't got a channel, you're just browsing around, then welcome anyway. Good to see you on here. Well, it would be great to see you, but I can't do it live while I'm on a motorbike. That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, let's try this wind jammer out, because it is still, it's still here, it's bouncing off the, the helmet. I suppose it's also because I've got this camera on the front and the cardo on the side. So the wind's going to... It's going to disrupt the wind, isn't it? Those things on the helmet. But um, I'm, I'm going to have to get a screen. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy that massive sail uh, to put on the front of this because uh, it is incredibly unbearable when it is windy on this bike. I think we've got... Is it Albert? Albert's out on a Sunday? <laughs> hey! High five, Albert! Hey. Yeah, I've got to do something with the screen because if I go down Let's get over the top of my head If I come up It's bouncing my head around and my shoulders So this screen is a lot better than the standard one But it's uh, it's nowhere near good enough for touring So I'm definitely uh, going to have to change that I think Which is a real shame because it's going to make the bike look like cack But there you go Anyway, that's enough ramblings from me. Let's uh, 
go and have a little ride. Wearing jeans on a motorbike, what will they think of next? A bit armoured bikinis. I bet you're glad you put your jeans on now. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. You haven't got sports suspension. <laughs> I was out the saddle twice then. <laughs> it's our side. <laughs> what right, Si? Oh, what right, mate, you? <laughs> uh, do you reckon this sense has actually seen us? Hello. Hiya. Hiya, sensor. I've got one centimetre of uh, visor that I can see out of. <laughs> I do all. How are we today? Don't mind us, we're just passing through. First gear. <laughs> I always first gear on a on an incline. <laughs> Are you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know where Enville is. It said Enville this way, but oh, look at that for a straight. <laughs> I was looking at that church. <laughs> That's a nice church, that. <laughs> Left here. <laughs> hey, this ABS is pretty good, you know. It's uh, Jack and Jill, mate. High five! <laughs> Just a quick intermission here. I just wanted to give you my verdict on this wind jammer before we get into information about the subs right out. So I've installed this wind jammer exactly how it says to do so on the instructions. You can see there, you can see how far up the side of the helmet it comes with all the sticky stuff and the elastic around it. So I did that. And the, there's, there's two, two big problems I had. So the first one was the helmet fogged up really badly. So I've got a pin lock on here and I had such problems with it fogging up. I don't know why it's fogging up with the pin lock on, but I had to have the visor open most of the time when I was doing under 30 mile an hour. Um, so that's that's a problem, and that's going to be um, definitely a problem in the summer, isn't it? Or April shows, whatever. The, um, the biggest problem, though, and I haven't seen anyone else mention this, but it isn't just me. It can't be just me, right? So this band... It goes all the way around it's elasticated like i said and it's got some sticky on it and it does come off and and go on again um it is so damn tight on the side of the helmet but all the way around that i'm not kidding it was comical i couldn't get my helmet off when i got to the cafe and everyone was watching me on the car park and i thought i was going to rip my ears off because obviously you get all flustered and you just go for it and I couldn't get my helmet back on again and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought I'd put the cheek pads in wrong when I ripped all the wires out previously and stuff like that. So I didn't um, I didn't think it was the wind jammer at all. Um, but when I when I did finally get my helmet off, helmet off on the second calf, uh, when we got to Himley and I took my helmet off there, it was so tight. All the insides of the helmet came out. Um, so I had to put it all back together again. What I've discovered is that the band is so tight around this RPHA, I think it's a 70, that it's, you wouldn't believe it, it's actually compressing the bottom of the helmet. 
and it's compressing it enough to, to make this helmet not fit me anymore. So what I decided to do was I, I refitted it lower down the side. So I've gone pretty much, um, I've put the stitching over the pads and then it starts to go down. And I tried my helmet off and on again and it, it does sort of go on and off, but it's still pretty tight. Um, so I'm not sure for that reason, I'm not sure I'm going to leave this on the helmet. I think I'd rather have earplugs in uh, and, and the wind noise, unfortunately, and, and look at getting a better screen for the bike. Um, so that, that for me was a, it's, it's a real big problem. And I haven't seen anyone mention that. Um, but hey ho, you know, you've got to try these things, haven't you? The other thing I wanted to mention is that the sole purpose of, of this wind jammer is to do exactly what it says on the tin tin and that's to jam the wind to stop the wind getting in there and you know being fierce in the helmet and because the wind jammer is only the same size as the padding and chin guard that I've already got in my helmet I was very skeptical about it anyway when I put it on I thought well, how can that make a difference and you know I've got to be fair here it did make a difference um, in the fact that it reduced wind noise a little bit but it also changed what I'm used to listening to on my recordings so there's still a lot of wind noise in my helmet um, and I just had to deal with it differently on my editing software um, and it's pretty impossible to get rid of the wind noise on editing software isn't it um, and it if that hole was smaller so if that if that was smaller and fits more snugly around my neck I think it might work better but because the holes that big uh, then I don't I don't see I don't see the point to be honest for me um, so for me it, it really didn't reduce the wind noise enough for me to warrant leaving it on here either so I may take it off for the reasons as uh, as I've mentioned so it covers my vents up at the front here um, and it steams up my helmet 100% does that and that really drives you mad doesn't it um, secondly it's pulling the sides of the helmet in and it's really tight to get my helmet on and off that's a pain in the books the helmet was already tight before that it was a perfect fit before that and thirdly it didn't really jam the wind I was expecting spectacular results before I had this delivered, but I'm sorry, um, it just didn't work for me. Maybe it's just me because I haven't heard anyone else complain. Uh, so I just wanted to quickly give you my verdict, verdict on this and you know get that out of the way so we can talk about the subs ride out. All right, on with the video. That's a great little ride out. It's absolutely tipping down the rain. Everywhere I look, it's tipping, tipping down the rain. So uh, we've been lucky to avoid most of it, but we did get wet a bit. Um, we're making our way back and we're going to go into uh, Himley if, it, if it's dry. Um, but w what I wanted to just announce, we're, we're going to have a little bit of a subs ride out. Um, if you fancy it, we'd love to meet you guys. Um, and, you know, I'd love to meet you guys. So if you fancy a ride out with us, you know, and a cup of tea and meet up with other like-minded folk then uh, please keep the 3rd of April free so if you keep uh, the 3rd the third free I can't say that 3rd of April um, we're thinking that we go and meet at the Food Stop Cafe in Bridge North then in Quat meet up there in the morning and uh, as that's about all the plan we've got at the minute um, so if you're local here and you've follow the channel then it'd be great to meet up with you then in quads um, the side's going to come as well moist decoy and bring some people along so we're going to get together in a group have a couple and a chat and then we're thinking we may go up to Whitchurch way uh, to say hello to the guys up at Whitchurch uh, late morning early afternoon but um, let me know in the comments if you fancy it so nothing else to it really that, that that's all it's going to be it's going to be a meet up at quat and then maybe a ride up to Whitchurch and then a bimble about up that way but it'd be great to see you guys you know i interact with you on the on the comments and on facebook 
Um, that's the third time I've seen that car today. Uh, yeah, in, you know, interacting with you on, on Facebook, etc. Is, is brilliant, but man, it'd be so much better if we said hello in, in person. And Covid's pretty much gone now, you know, all the restrictions, so get your asses out on your bikes and come and say hello to your old mate Dave, down at Quat. Um, if you can't make Quat, then we'll probably come up to Whitchurch if you're closer that way, and we can meet you up at the Raven or Mar Baker's up there, no problem at all. So yeah, get that in your diary guys, 3rd of April, let's meet up and have a cup of tea shall we, yeah, fancy it? Let me know in the comments if you fancy coming and then I can uh, you know, get your names programmed into my head so I can say hello to you when you turn up. But um, yeah, keep watching the channel, I'll uh, announce more details as we get closer to the time. Um, but that, it's pretty much just going to be something like that though. A little meet up at Quat and then a ride out somewhere. Alright, all are welcome. NECC of bike. We're not bike snobs one bit. Not one just. So if you've got your little 125, come up and say hello. Come out for a ride with us. You're going to have a spanking day. Cool, so I'll see you on the 3rd. All being well. Right, let's get into... Um, Let's get into the Himley. It's getting darker and darker the closer we get. I don't think I put my wind jet. When I put my helmet back on, I was talking to someone at the Food Stop Cafe and I didn't pull the wind jammer out around my neck. So I think I've ruined <laughs> I've made this one worse. This bit of the ride. And I've got to say, I couldn't get my helmet off when I was at the Food Stop. It was like jammed on my head. So I don't know what's going on there. Here we are, managed to get to Himley in the sunshine. <laughs> Little dog wagging his tail, just seen us pull up. Well, chaps and chappess, <laughs> nice little quick ride out today. Just had a little walk around Himley with our side. There's our sailor. So I never got a chance to say goodbye to you because the, the battery on my flaming helmet camera ran out just as we was pulling off from Himley. Um, so if you do want to come out and meet us, have a ride out, size definitely in, moist decoy, hopefully crazy legs on a bike and fasty rides can come down and see us. Um, then keep the 3rd of April free and we'll meet you at the Food Stop Cafe. More details to follow, we'll, we'll update the channels um, and Facebook and things like that as we get closer towards the time, but it really would be good to meet with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna get the bike in now. It looks like it's gonna tip down a rain. And I uh, just wanna say thank you again for watching. Thank you very much. It's good to have a little long for a ride. And I will see you in the next Moto Vlog. Is it Moto Vlog or Moto Vlog? Motor Vlog. See you later guys. Bye bye.